people, and like that's not it for me. Like Tony Stark and, and uh, Reed Richards are scientists. They're solving problems. Super villains show up and fuck up their their projects. They're like, oh god damn it, we'll go deal with it. <laughs> De like Batman's just accosting mentally handicapped people in costumes. Like they're just you know, it's not it's not okay. Like and I, I wait for the day that they're they're in Gotham and Gordon's like, you missed the Joker's parole meeting. What were you doing? <laughs> Those kids collecting Riddler trophies. <laughs> what? I have 169 of 170. I need them all for 100% of what? Of justice! <laughs> and I just, I can't get into it as much. Oh man. We did a panel earlier, and people brought up the Wii, and everybody started shitting on it. Is that like the opinion now? Nobody likes Wii anymore? I thought it was alright. Like, like, what, what, why are you kicking on the Wii? It was the Wii U that everybody hated. They're like, why? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the Switch. I like the Switch because it's like the ultimate of what Nintendo's been going for, mm -hmm. and that's to get you the fuck outside. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like Pokemon Go is like, just go. They're all out there. The Pokemon are outdoors. You gotta go. And even before that, like when the Wii first came out, it would tell you to stop playing video games if you oh, played yeah, video yeah, games yeah. for so long. Yeah. And I was worried that that would become the new trend for consoles. Mm -hmm. Like if you're playing PlayStation, like, hey buddy, you've been playing Last of Us for a long time. You think about hurting yourself? <laughs> and if you're on Xbox, you stop at Cortana for more than three seconds. Like, you jacking it? You're jacking it, aren't you? <laughs> You know I am, Xbox! Huh? It's too good. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm an Xbox owner. Yeah, because my favorite game is Netflix. But I mean, it's weird to play Xbox and play the games I play. Like, I used to play Team Fortress 2, I play Overwatch now, and I have friends that play Overwatch, but they play it on PC. Yeah. And it's weird when they come up and they're like, what's the meta like? And I'm like, the what? Uh, well, you, if someone waves at you, you wave back, <laughs> and then when the whole team's ready and there's just one slot and you don't have a healer, you pick a Hanzo. That's, and then you pick the healer, and then they call you a faggot for not doing good enough. That's it. <laughs> and it's like Xbox, playing Xbox on like a, a shooter game was like being that last dude in Japan after World War II, 30 years later, the war's over, nobody told him. And you're like, Greg's son, you gotta pack this in. <laughs> Or Greg Sam, if you're being respectful, <laughs> and that's all I know about Japan. <laughs> I don't have a PlayStation, why would I know anything? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a PlayStation! <laughs> he doesn't like playing really good RPGs. <laughs> Short attention span and vulgarity. Oh, I really can't read it. Oh, that's such a shame. <laughs> Just skip anything that got smudged. I, uh... What? Yeah. I'll just make it up. Oh, man. <laughs> Such a thing about me jacking off a whole bunch. <laughs> I, uh, I, re I did something recently that you should never, ever do, and that's I like, moved back into the town I grew up in. Mm. Yeah, when you leave Pallet Town, don't go back. <laughs> There's nothing for you there. And it sucks, because, like, the people, like, some of your friends are still around, but they're not the cool ones. They're, like, the sad ones that just stayed there. <laughs> we don't know anybody, so that's who you hang out with. It's, it's the married couple that they started dating in high school and just got married. Yeah. And it's gross. Yeah. And I'm sorry if you guys met in high school, but it's gross. <laughs> and, like, they, they just, all they want to talk about is couple stuff. That's all they know. So they're just like, hey, are you, are you, we're thinking about kids. You ever think about kids? I'm like, first off, I can't say that. You as a married couple, you can think about kids. I as a single weirdo can't be like, Psst, yo, hey, I'm thinking about kids. <laughs> Get back! <laughs> but yeah, they're just like, we're thinking about kids. It's always we. They sound like Venom from Spider-Man. Like, we're thinking about kids. We do Pilates. We think if you want to meet a girl, you should stop making such specific Spider-Man references. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I finally, they're like, what, what about you? I'm like, I don't know, I, I would adopt. I'm like, why? I'm like, I wouldn't wish these giant ginger jeans on any child. <laughs> so I would just adopt. And plus, ginger, we just want to steal babies. That's what we do. So we just adopt other people's babies. 
And they're like, oh, you should be careful with that. I'm like, what? Like, the kid's not gonna mug me. <laughs> but you never know what you're gonna end up with. I said, you get to meet it first. <laughs> Shouldn't be a father, I called it it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like an airport meeting. There's like, hey, hey, are you the guy thinking about kids? You know I am. <laughs> Let me see it. And then they just give it to you. Like, it's your problem now. Huh? Like, what? What? Oh, God, it's a it's just a <laughs> shake. It's got a mustache and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it was Hitler. <laughs> and the other issue is you, you run, you'll run into people in the most random places. I went to, I needed a new doctor, I'm in a new town. And so I went to that doctor, I was like, I, got, I suffer from depression and anxiety, and I was hoping to get something for that, I don't hear anything. Because I heard the door open, and I turn around, and she just goes, Yo, are you Liz's little brother? Like, yeah, that's me. Aww. You used to get so drunk! I was like, used to! <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, well, I don't know if you heard me, but depression and anxiety, I'd like something for it. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> what do I, that's not a medical question. <laughs> I have a piece of paper, I can write anything on it, they have to give it to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want Adderall? I've got a pocket full, just take it, you want something? So I leave, I leave with access to drugs. <laughs> and then I realize as I'm leaving, I have anxiety. I have no goddamn idea what these drugs do. What do you do? Like, I'm freaking out. I'm like, what if there's are side effects? What do they do? What do you do in that situation? What do you do? You talk to your physician? No, that's, that's insane. You would never do that. You go online. <laughs> you check WebMD. You find out you have cancer, but you get past that. You just move on past that. And I looked it up, and I, that's, I swear to God, I wrote down the symptoms of my particular pills. And there's the normal stuff that's like constipation. Diarrhea, insomnia, sleepiness, suicidal tendencies, and unquenchable lust for life. <laughs> and the last two, I shit you not, was uh, uh, fear taking tendon or uh, risk taking tendencies, i.e., in parentheses, feels no fear, and temporary blindness. <laughs> Therefore, these drugs will make me daredevil. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the legible stuff I ran out of. <laughs> Let's bring your host back up and keep this going. Laura Ashley! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> there was a minute where I think you might have forgotten my name. I did! <laughs> we have known each other for almost a decade. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys ready for your headliner, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> the other founding member of Plus Two Comedy. He is Giovanni in Cosplay Pro Wrestling. <laughs> And he is the other host of the Plus Two Comedy Podcast. I give you Noah Houlihan. Yeah. Oh, it's good wrestling show. Awesome. Thank you for that high five. What's going on, guys? Hey. Thank you for choosing us over boobs. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. I, I've decided that if I get any really big laughs, I'll take the applause break time to take off an item of clothing. That's what I've decided to do. Since you guys skipped burlesque. Since you guys skipped burlesque. That's, that's the promise I've made to you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, so, uh, like, like Laura was saying, uh, I started wrestling. And uh, I wanted to become a better wrestler. And I saw that uh, a local Philly company known as Chikara was having a scholarship challenge. Yeah, he knows. And I was like, and it was offering free schooling if you pass the challenge. And I was like, ooh, my self-esteem has been flowing somewhere around normal. Let's screw it up and do this challenge. So I went, and they looked at me, and they were like, look, just so you know, we're not looking for the fastest person here. No. We're not looking for the strongest person here. We're looking for the toughest person here. And I was like, all right, I can be tough. Let's do it. And they're like, all right, let's do squats. Let's do squats. All right, now push-ups. Now push-ups. I was like, oh, an athlete. You're looking for an athlete. This has nothing to do with being tough. Like, no one ever did 100 push-ups out of pure toughness. That has never happened. There's never been a time, like, in a Western where a cowboy walked into a saloon, like, squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. 
<laughs> I'm the toughest SOB to ever strap on a pair of spurs. And if you don't think I'm the toughest son of a gun in here, we can go outside and run wind sprints until one of us falls over. That has never happened, ever. But, you know, I, I really wanted it, uh, so I tried really hard. And at the end, I won. Yeah! What a great! Awesome. I won a sport! I won a sport for the first time ever in my life. And since I had never done that before, I didn't know how to react. So I cried. Yeah. But not like, not like the cool, like, one tear holding it together cry. I full on just went, Ooh! I'm the toughest! I'm the toughest! <laughs> <laughs> so we're wrestling now. Thank you guys so much. Uh, so I think I need to talk about this because uh, I've been doing too many games for, I don't know, five years now? And every time, if you guys have been coming for a while, I talk about the game I'm most excited for. For the last five years, that game has been The Last Guardian. Oh. Waited five years for that. <laughs> Finally played it. So Not super happy, guys. <laughs> Not super happy. I'm going to talk about it, but don't worry. I'm not going to spoil anything. Because nothing fucking happens in that game. <laughs> it's like 12 hours of like, what the hell do I do now? <laughs> Oh, I think I'm supposed to go over there. Come on, puppy chicken dragon. We're going over there. We made it. <laughs> the fuck do I do now? <laughs> For 12 hours, that's the whole game. I'm not sure if you guys know this, this was supposed to be a launch title for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> and if you didn't know that, you clearly didn't look at the game. Because it's terrible. I don't know how they made the giant puppy trick chicken dragon, which looks like it's out of a Mountain Dew commercial. <laughs> puppy chicken dragon. Puppy chicken dragon. They made him look really realistic. But the human child is a cartoon character. How do you fuck up the human? I didn't hate that game. It upset me. And also E3. Oh. Oh, yeah. E3 this year. What the fuck? What the happened? Best game of the year. Be best game of the year, I think, out of E3, is Beyond Good and Evil 2. Despite the fact that we saw nothing yeah. from that trailer. <laughs> we watched a movie and we all got excited. And my favorite part about that reveal is they showed the trailer and then a man came out and cried. <laughs> and I was like, this is a bit ridiculous. And then I realized that for the last, I don't know, eight years, people have been screaming in this man's face, where's Beyond Good and Evil 2? <laughs> and he finally got to come out on stage and be like, and be like people are going to stop screaming at me now. <laughs> Shoot a trailer! It'll be out in six years. Everybody get excited. Are you guys excited for the Xbox One X? What the hell, guys? Xbox One X. What are they doing with these names? And they're like, oh yeah, you're supposed to take the uh, letters that are capitalized and it's, it's an acronym. I was like, oh, it's an acronym for... Xbox. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> That's really stupid. <laughs> and like, it really screwed Xbox One X. Yeah. Like, it screws up the whole numbering system. Like, think about what the Xbox numbering system is. <laughs> Xbox. Xbox 360. <laughs> Xbox One. Xbox 9. Like, that's really... 
that was close to 